I'd say sports is a very big part of my life. I like most sports. Most of all, I, pro I like soccer, um, basketball, track. He's into every sport there is, and he's pretty athletic and, um, and skilled at it. We don't know where he got it from. But he... <laughs> 45 million children participate in organized sports each year in the U.S. It's good, clean, healthy fun, except when it results in one of an estimated 3 million visits each year to the emergency department for a pediatric sports-related injury. It was one track practice, and I was running a full track length. Once I went around the curve, I started to feel something tight back there. And I, I stretched at the end and then I went home and I, I really didn't feel that much of an effect until I sat down and it just really hurt. Bobby's parents thought it was a simple hamstring pull, but when it didn't seem to heal after a week off of sports, they took Bobby to a unique new program at the University of Michigan that specializes in the increasing problem of pediatric sports injuries. We're seeing more and more sports specialization where kids are, are playing their sport day after day, year round, and really not taking a break from it. And so that repetitive trauma to the same bones, same muscles, can lead to injury related to that. She took an x-ray and she could tell immediately that he had a growth plate injury to his pelvis where the hamstring attaches to the pelvis. And I was just shocked. I didn't even really know about how serious um, these injuries could be, frankly. I thought he just pulled his muscle really bad. But she said this was serious. A growth plate is an area in the bone where the bone is still growing and it's cartilaginous structure. Somewhere around puberty, the bone will fuse and become a single solid bone. Growth plate injuries can be very serious, particularly if it's a fracture uh, in one of the long bones because that can affect the growth of the bone. If they have an injury or damage to the cartilage later on in life, they can get arthritis related to that quite young. Dr. Donaldson restricted Bobby from all sports for six weeks to allow the injury time to heal. I'm doing a lot better now once I got off my restriction. I started jogging a little and I did start rehab and I've been doing some exercises, lifting weights, that kind of thing. And I'm feeling a lot better. There's no pain, so that's a good thing. I'm just trying to get back to where I was before the injury. I think kids in sports is great. It's good for socialization, teamwork, working hard, and I really believe that being active in sports helps you later in life. But to prevent sports injuries in kids, Dr. Donaldson offers the following advice. Teach kids not to work through pain. It can be an indication of a more serious injury. Mix up activities so different muscle groups are used, avoiding injury due to repetitive overuse. Make sure children stretch and warm up properly before engaging in sports. Prior to the age of six, encourage play rather than year-round team sports that require more physical commitment and discipline. And try to make sure kids take a day or two off from organized sports activities each week to just be kids. I guess I didn't quite realize that they are subject to the same problems and injury proneness of an adult, but yet they're not adults. They're still growing, and that is a, that's a big difference. 